the 450 Bushmaster. So I was wondering, and uh, I finally found out that I could run the R45 on the 450 Bushmaster. So I'm about to get this brake off, see what the thread pitch is. And I'm going to try the R45 on there. Should be able to fit. Shouldn't be no issue clearing that. So that's good. I only can find my 458 SOCOM mag. The mags they gave me with this was look like some 410 gauge magazines or something like that. But um, the way the follower is made is just like one little, uh, like it's just straight. I don't know why the 50 Beowulf looks like an AR-15 mag, the follower, like a 5.56 with a little notch in it, but I don't know. So, but that works for that. Yeah, I don't even know why I had the ammo, but pretty expensive just to be having. And I didn't even have a can for it. So $34.99, probably higher now, who knows. Uh, feet per second is 10.50. Some rounds is missing. I think we shot it before. I'm not sure, but um, some probably was missing too for pictures or videos. So comparing them against other rounds, so probably not shot. But yeah, this is what these look like. So what I want to do is if I could get this can on here and don't need a different money, it's got to either be five eighths or half by 28, but I'm not sure yet. I got those mounts and then I got that one funny 14 by something, something like that. So we're gonna get that off and then, we're gonna get that off and see if we can get that on there. Then we can see if uh, I'm gonna hit this ballistic panel with two of these rounds, or not even, I don't even need to do two. I just need to do one and see if it's gonna cycle, see if it's gonna jam or whatever. Sometimes the 458, 450 Bushmaster, 458, and 50 Beowulf. If you don't have the right mags, they like to jam real easy. So we're going to see how that go. All right, so we got this off. I hate when some of these don't come off. And sometimes I have to take a Dremel and just cut it, then twist it off. But we just going to um, check this thread pitch real quick. All right, so I got this thing off, and it's not a 5 8 by 24. I had to look it up. It's a 5 8 by 32. So once again, I got to buy an adapter. 5 8 by 32 to 5 8 by 34. So I guess with the 450 Bushmasters and the 458 SOCOM, that's what the thread pitch is. I tried the muzzle brake on the scar that came off of it, and it goes... And then it stops stop right there same thing with the 5 8 then it just stops so that'll be a couple days probably by the time they get them you either get it on eBay or just Google I just googled and see who had it the cheapest with shipping and stuff 25 here's the one that was for the 8 6 blackout All right, so the adapter came in, got this one. I tried to get it from, um, I got this one off eBay. I paid about maybe 26 or something like that, about $26. It's supposed to be a 5.8 by 32 to 5.8 by 24, right here. So for the 450 Bushmaster, and then I think they said for the 458 SOCOMs, it should be like that. I don't know why, but that's how it is. So I'm gonna open this up, try this on here, and hopefully this it. That's what it looked like. So at least with this one, I ain't gotta worry about taking that crush washer off. Gun clear, I'm gonna look down it just to make sure everything will line up. Well, I'm not directly pointing at it, but yeah, you can see the you can see the rifling in there on the camera so we good shouldn't be no issues right there anything hitting yeah because on the bad larry i had to use an adapter and so we should be good just want to make sure we all the way in there ain't gonna be a 
that's probably like an inch worth of length added. Cause if, if I didn't need an adapter, I'd be right here. So that's the only downside to it. But as long as it worked, we cool. Up for the suppressor. So I wanted to see if it was gonna be sticking out. So it's right there. So that's cool. Definitely makes the gun look super long now. But um, yeah, now we could test this thing out and see if it even cycle. I said with these 450 Bushmasters, you got to get the right mag. The mag I got in there right now is my 458 SOCOM. I've half tried my 50 Beowulf, but the follower is different. But um, I figured they all should be the same. But the follower in the 458 and the 450 Bushmaster is different from the 50 Beowulf. So I got to find my mag. I only had one for it. It's going to be 395. 450 Bushmaster. I need some full metal jackets because I got to get this zero. I haven't zeroed it yet. So I'm going to grab a box probably today. Once I set my ballistic panels up, make sure it runs before I get out there. And I got to find that mag. And then we'll take this out to the range and see how it runs. See how quiet it is. Um, we're going to get the chronograph, see what the feet per second is also. See your motivation, I see your movement is in effect. And I fucking wear that shit. <laughs>